Hey y'all, I am back for my September 2018 budget wrap up. I know there is a few more days left in the month, but I have already gotten my second paycheck for the month and I've already budgeted for it, um, paid all of my bills. Um, the only thing I may need to buy before September is officially over is um, some more gas for my car. But um, if I do have to fill up, I may not have to since I have a hybrid, but if I do have to fill up, then um, I'll just throw it on October's budget. So I figured I would go ahead and get the budget wrap up video filmed. Um, if you're new here, my name is Rebecca. I am documenting my journey from debt to financial independence, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. So, um, my goal for this month, if you've been following along on my journey, was to put $1,200 to the um, state employees credit union personal loan that I have. And my grand total for the month that I was able to put towards that loan was $1,020. So I did fall short from that goal a little bit. Uh, Everything that came up this month in September that I had not budgeted for, the total expense was um, $454.56. If I had not spent all that money on things that came up, then um, I probably would have met my goal. Um, that $454 was spent on um, a trip to Lowe's, a big dog food order from Chewy.com. I didn't have to buy 200 plus worth of dog food, but I did. It'll figured, I figured it would save me um, having to order so soon again in the future. Um, went to Bath and Body Works. I had to buy some more vitamins for me. I had to renew my license at the DMV. And then my nephew had a school fundraiser too that I spent on. Um, so some of those things were not optional you know i mean i had to renew my license i had to buy some vitamins for me um so would i have still been able to meet my goal if i hadn't spent money on the other things i did have to get some dog food uh you know i don't know but since i didn't meet my goal for this month what i have decided to do is um i am going to do a no spend october and um, technically it's going to be no spend from now until the end of October because I've already, you know, gotten my last paycheck for this month and I've told it where to go and I'm not going to um, spend any more money unless it's just some gas. So whenever I do a no spend, um, for me, that means basically all I buy for the month is gas for my car. Um, I'm lucky that my... Um, husband buys all the groceries for us and uh, he also pays for the power bill here the only bills that I pay for um, well the only bill I should say that's variable is our, our water bill I pay that but it's usually around $60 or so it's not a, a huge bill um, and then I have all of my debt payments behind me I pay the house bill and then all of my other consumer debts and um, my cell phone bill is um, a fixed expense at $60.19 every month. So um, for October, I will just buy gas for my car and that'll be it. So if, if I can do that, then I think that I can meet my $1,200 to the state employees loan goal in October and hopefully more because I know for a fact I will have that loan paid off in November. November is a three paycheck month for me so I'm going to spend um, as bare minimum as possible in October so that I can put as much towards that loan in October and then pay it off in November and hopefully still have a whole bunch of money left over that I can put towards my next debt in November. So with all that said, I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll um, color in the lines on the charts behind me. I'm going to start as always with my state employees credit union personal loan. That's the loan at the top in the middle in pink. 
<clears throat> so my balance last month was at four thousand one hundred ninety four dollars and forty two cents and it dropped down to three thousand nine hundred and two dollars and seventy two cents now that's the um, loan that I'm working on, but my payment automatically comes out of my savings account with state employees for that loan. They automatically take out $330 every month. And since I'm working on that loan, currently what I do is I just save up as much money as I can and I shove it all in that account. So whenever I have enough in there to pay off that loan, I will go into the bank and pay it off all at once. Um, and right now, um, there is $2,173.65 in that account with state employees. So my balance is at um, $3,900 and I've got 20, almost $2,200 in there. So like I say, um, I don't think I'll be able to pay it off in October, but definitely by November that debt will be gone. So we're at $3,900. Let's see how many lines we can color in here. Well, looks like just one this time. That's okay, because I'll be coloring the whole thing in before long here. And I do apologize if I sound a little weird. I'm kind of getting over a cold and have like some allergy issues going on. I'm drinking my hot coffee, hoping that will help. <laughs> All right. Um, Next loan is this one in the orange. It used to be my Wells Fargo personal loan, but I have done a um, balance transfer type of deal. Now it's on my Bank of America card with no interest. So um, all the money that I pay towards that loan goes directly to the principal. Last month it was at $8,750 even. Now it is down to $8,650.51. So $8,650. Which I'm not quite down that low, so I actually can't color any lines in on that one yet. But that's all right, because soon I'm going to be coloring in big chunks in that loan, and it will be gone as quickly as possible. Um, all right, next loan, we will look at the bed that I have financed, also at no, um, no interest. Last month it was at $5,410, and this month it is at $5,020. And that is this one down here, $5,020, is that right? Yes. So I can bring it all the way down to, well, just a couple lines. but I'll take what I can get. This loan I will focus on after the Bank of America balance transfer loan that I did. Even though this is a smaller balance due, it does not, um, I have until October of 2019 to pay off the bid with no interest. And the Bank of America balance transfer, I only have until July of 2019. So even though the balance is a little bit higher for the um, Bank of America loan, I'm going to focus on that one next after I get my state employees one paid off. Next debt, my car, it went from $23,582.58 down to $23,294.99. Don't know if I can color in any on that one or not. Let's see. Let's see. 23,294. Oh yeah, I can. I can get one line. I'll take it. This will be the last consumer debt that I'm paying off. Because, um, I'm a fan of Dave Ramsey's Snowball, but I do modify it a little bit for my own needs. Um, my car loan obviously is at a um, lower percentage than my student loans, which I had consolidated at a much higher percentage of interest. But the balance due on both of those is fairly similar. 
So because most of my payment for my student loans is going towards interest, whenever I get all these other debts paid off, I'm going to focus on the student loan and get it gone. And the car loan will be last. So student loan over there, um, please ignore my damaged wall over here. <laughs> student loan um, balance last month was at $27,437.67 dropped to $27,314.25. So let's see if I can color anything in on it. $27,315 is where I'm at. $27,315, yep, I can color one line. And I'll take it. I will be so glad to get this gone. I've talked about it in videos before, but this freaking, consolidation debt was the worst thing I could have done. The way the loan is, um, the amortization schedule on this loan is robbery. Like all of my payments go to interest. It's ridiculous. And lastly, the home loan. Uh, principal balance on it last month was $99,256.33. And it dropped to $99,080.04. I don't know if I can color one in yet. $99,000. No. Can't color anything in on it till I get down to $97,000. So it's probably going to be a long time before I can color in another line on that one. Because again, that's a 30-year schedule. So um, the amortization schedule for the house, when you buy a house on a 30-year loan, the first few years, pretty much everything goes to interest, and I have only been in this house since 2014, so most everything is still going to interest. All right. All right, so my total consumer debt, all of my debt chains that I have here. From August to September, uh, my principal debt on my consumer debt dropped from $69,374.67 to $68,182.47. So I'm gonna set this camera up here and we will tear some more links off of these chains here. Each one is worth $500 worth of principal paid off. I'll be right back. I think this is my favorite thing to do at the end of the month every month. All right, so I went from 69,374 down to 68,182. So here is 69,000, gone. And 68,500, my principal balance owed is less than that. So I will tear this one off too. That's two more gone. Almost made it to the 68,000, but my current principal balance stands at 68,182.47. So I can't quite tear this one off yet. It's gonna be a lot of fun to tear these apart in November whenever I pay off that state employee's um, credit union loan because it'll be thousands of principal that I drop all in one month in. So stay tuned for that video. Um, if you like videos like this and you wanna follow me along on my journey to get rid of all of this debt, then um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment below, and let me know how your month of September went. Like I say, I didn't meet my personal goal this month for um, putting my $1,200 to my state employees loan, but I am going to do a no spend in October and try to put at least $1,200 towards that state employees loan in October. So. Stay tuned to see how I do. I can't wait for the day when I'm down to this last link in the chain. $500. Can't even imagine. That'll be a good day. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.